how fast and how efficient and how effective can we get the Infantry Brigade Combat Team ready for combat? For several weeks, Fort Polk soldiers and 3rd Brigade Combat Team 10th Mountain Division have been preparing on smaller scales for the combined arms live fire exercise. Brigade Commander Colonel Kendall Clark, who took over in July, says the exercise tests how well the unit's various elements can work together under live fire conditions. This is one of the most critical functions that we execute in an IBCT, Infantry Brigade Combat Team, and it's going to improve the overall readiness and it will improve the soldier's level proficiency at the company all the way down to the individual level. Ahead of the infantry battalions providing reconnaissance to the brigade are soldiers in 3rd Squadron 89th Cavalry Regiment. Commander Lieutenant Colonel Will Kanda says they're observing and reporting enemy activity, fighting or withdrawing if necessary. Today was a little more complex than we've practiced in a while because uh, at this level we had a troop commander that had to maneuver three different elements and coordinate for an air extraction uh, all while, you know, the enemy was engaged in the fight. And Colonel Kanda is encouraged by the training so far, noting that the unit's CALFEX is ahead of schedule just a few months after returning from a nine-month deployment to Iraq. A normal cycle for the last, you know, decade or so, when, when a troop or a squadron or a brigade comes back, you go in a pr pretty long reset period. But bec because our nation is asking for it, uh, we're, we're doing a very fast turn to get ready and, and they have responded phenomenally. On Fort Polk, Lydia Magallanes for News Channel 5, your local station.